We already know that stuffed pastas like ravioli and tortellini are delicious, but they're also easy to make. At least that's what chef and instructor Yole Aguero tells me. Hi there, how are Hi. you? So we're doing a stuffed pasta mm -hmm. today, right? Yes. And I was not even hungry and now my stomach's <laughs> growling, so I apologize. How do we get started? Let's start on filling. Okay. Would you like good. to do that? I'd be happy to. So I have some diced fontine if you'd like to add to Is that. Is all of that going in? What's yes. in here already? That's we'll call a, it? Yeah, six ounces of ricotta. Okay. And I like a whole milk ricotta. And then we're going to have a quarter of a cup of parmigiano reggiano, right. freshly grated. Got it. And then the parsley, doesn't matter what order. It's all going to be mixed up together anyway, yes. right? So whatever we'd like to do. I like this little spatula. That makes it easier to get everything out. And then the egg. Alrighty. Makes it easier. And then we're going to do salt and pepper and fresh nutmeg. Oh. If you don't right. have fresh nutmeg, I prefer to skip it. Should I do that? Yeah, why not? Okay, so a little, about a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. And why do you want to skip it? You don't want <clears> any <throat> dry spice in there? Well, the one in the jar, it doesn't smell or taste like it. So basically, I would skip <laughs> it. Okay. And it's so easy to get a little nutmeg, and you don't need very much. It lasts a very that. long time. That smells so there. good as you're grinding so, it. Okay, I'll get that mixed so up. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to just show you how my mother, my grandmother did in Italy, uh, the little well. And, the little well. And we're going to put the eggs in, and that's how we make pasta. I love watching this. Where in Italy are you from? From Naples. From Naples. Yes. So the eggs should be at room temperature. Mm -hmm. I'm just using today um, unbleached. Actually, I love when a little shell, but that's not a shell, is it? You just go like that. It's like there a little magnet. So um, I like to use unbleached organic flour. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I like to use double zero. And take me back to what you said about room temperature eggs. Why is that important? Um, it just makes it mixing better. Okay. Wow, these eggs how are long does it take today. if you set them out? How long would uh, you say? An hour or so, but if you forget, just put them in a little warm water oh, for a couple okay. of minutes. Yes. I love a good cheat. Yeah. <laughs> a little hack so a lot of it. people, if they don't like this, a fork. And if you really don't like this, you just put it in a food processor and it goes like that. So I now what we're gonna do? Food. Do you need a, a towel? Here's I, one. I, yeah, I press here you one. Go. There. Thank you. You're welcome. So what we're gonna do? I already made the dough. We're gonna move over here. Okay. And this is a half a batch because I already made some ahead. Now, if we were making this, we just start. Yeah, I need it all to together. beat a lot more. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Very good. So we're gonna cut this. Usually work with a quarter of a recipe because it's too hard to handle it, it's too long. So you need to have regular flour and rice flour with mm -hmm. you. Rice flour keeps them sticking together. And then you got a one, either hand cranking or KitchenAid, works really well. Oh, look at that. And then you fold it, and then you keep them going on this flour. It keeps them ripping, and it works really well. Especially the temperature outside, the size of the egg, you adjust how much flour you need. Mm -hmm. Three, four times until it's smooth. Until it's smooth? Yeah, it looks it looks nice and smooth. Okay. Does it feel any particular way or you're just looking? Oh, yeah, yeah. it's you're just looking at it to make yeah. sure it's consistent. Yeah, and it doesn't look bumpy and it's smooth. Got it. So I think what I'll do now, I'll go all the way to number six. Okay. And I can go a little faster too. And every time you you turn it, it goes narrow. And sometimes, if you're also a little sticky, you need to stop. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it starts tearing. And we don't want that. That's no, just going to gun no. things up. And then, so we're done. So you're making the opening narrower. Yeah, it time. keeps it getting narrower and thinner. Stuffed pasta needs to be a little thinner than normal. Um, otherwise, it doesn't taste as good. I like to go to six. Look at you go. <laughs> this down on speed. Okay, let's go back over Alrighty. here. It's more space. And Oops, we're going to put rice flour down. That way it doesn't stick on the counter. Okay. Thank you. Like that. And then we're going to take a um, bench scraper okay. and we're going to clean it up. And you never throw this out. I mean, you eat it. You don't little, throw anything out. Little butter please. and cheese, Italian <laughs> mac and cheese. So there you go. If sometimes it's if you've never done it before, it's overwhelming um, to do a big sheet. So cut it in a half. So and if you just want, work with that. Yeah, right. you would like to do one with me? I'll sure. do it first. Sure. This is our glue. 
So we're gonna do both sides, I mean, all the way down there. All right, just like that? Mm -hmm. At the bottom, just on that one part? Yep. Okay. Then this looks great. I do okay? Oh, Is yeah. That correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then what we're gonna do, you can have any size of scoop. I like to make sometimes very elegant, very large ones. Mm -hmm. So what you're gonna do, you take a little scoop, and then you're gonna go not too far, because you won't be able to seal. Um, in the middle, like that. You can actually add a lot more if you want, but then um, you won't be able to cut the top and make it pretty. Let's do four. Four of them? Yeah. Okay. There. Prego. So I'm doing the same thing on mine? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do it together. You can go ahead with yours okay. while I scoop so it up. And we'll be so you able pick to it see. up and then you seal. When You're making multiple raviolis at once. <laughs> Very good. So, yeah, it's really easy. All you need is a pastry wheel. Mm -hmm. And then you want to take the bubbles out a little bit like that. And then you take your wheel. You always want to go start the bottom of the top first. That way they don't move around. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to be too skimpy. It makes it really hard to um, take the extra dough off like that. And then you go here. All right, and doctor. Like that. I think my patient is ready over here. And then you go in between. That's so much easier than I thought. I would have done them individually, but I don't know what there I'm doing. There you go. And you so do, may so. I just a little yeah. bit more air out? Oh, there we go. Yeah. So it's okay. Got a lot of air in there. It's all right. Is it all it's right? right? Yeah. Okay. So I'll start with these. You want to go on with yours while yes. I take my time trying to figure so, this out? <laughs> these guys get boiled, and we're not going to boil them today because mm -hmm. I already boil some for you to taste. Excellent. Tell and us about the sauce. The sauce is brown butter sage mm -hmm. and it's one of the simple sauce you ever make but people always, people always seem to burn it or um, it just doesn't work right. So what you do when you make, I like using the high quality, I'm using French butter today and I love this kind of sage. You don't want to use, sage. yeah, you don't want to use the purple sage, it doesn't taste as good. You don't want to use the medicinal one, the really thick ones. So you keep your eyes on it. You really cannot walk away. You don't want to make it perfectly golden like it is now. Mm -hmm. You want to just go a little bit below, especially if you have a commercial stove and a commercial pan. So you want to go under a little bit, what's the color now, and pull it over and it will be perfect. All right. Also, um, you can go not as all the way through three quarter and finish it when your um, your pasta is cooked. And it's good for all kinds of things. You can yes. put that sauce on all kinds of things. Okay, so, I ended up with four ravioli. I, awesome. I'm gonna call that a victory. So let's see how it looks when it's all put together. We have just a few um, seconds okay. left. Okay. Awesome. It looks like looks that. Like this. How beautiful is and that? And you can do some shavings of parmigiano. Oh right my there. gosh! And you bring people to Italy, right? Yes, I do tour for the last 18 years. That is amazing. Do you yeah. go to the the Naples region, or you go um, all over? I one year go from Rome all the way to Sicily. This mm -hmm. year is from. Um, Florence, Firenze, all the way to Venezia. Oh my goodness. <laughs> all right, we're going to put all that information up for our viewers. Thank you, Thank Yule, you. sharing the ravioli recipe with Thank us. Thank you. Just head over to the website and start stuffing. Her upcoming classes will be an Italian pasta tour at PCC's all over the area. We've linked you to all the details and locations, and we'll tell you about her trips as well. Thank you Thank so much. You.